Hello and welcome back to Sarah Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode five of Band of Brothers, and this one's called Crossroads. So yeah, last episode they unfortunately lost um, and had to retreat. Um, we almost lost uh, the character. I want to say Bull. I was saying it a lot in the last episode, so it's kind of sticking in my brain. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we did lose Babyface James McAvoy. And uh, Bull is hiding in the barn with uh, what I'm assuming is the family that owned the farm, farmhouse to be on with. Yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying the series so far. I just, <laughs> like, obviously everyone knows the outcome, <laughs> but it's nice to see the journey into it. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Oh! So they said inventory, so is he this is probably a really stupid question. He's writing up what happened, isn't he? And then we're kind of watching his memories in a way. I do like that they're doing different types of storytelling. Like the first episode was they were jumping through time and then they've done like one episode of one single fight and now they're doing it storytelling. I like watching them all work together, like teamwork behind it. Hey, hello! Hello! <laughs> this is the tail, owner of the tail you always see. <laughs> oh, she touched my card again. <laughs> oh, they all have one person to shoot. That's that's really good thinking. Yeah, I suppose if they have all have one person to attack, then uh, they've got no chance to return fire. last episode wasn't he? he was mean to young McAvoy. Oh shit, he was missing them by a hair. I do have a question for uh, my War Knowledge buffs. Why do they have the white spades on the helmets? <laughs> Probably something I should text my dad, but <laughs> he's such a bad texter. I know I'm still doing this. Want to drink him? No, I mean your footlocker. Captain, for Christ's sake. Well, why don't you... Why don't you just give it up? Got the adrenaline. That's going crazy. He's just fucking going for it. Jesus. What? What? A oh, more? Fucking hell. Oh, 
But why would they jump over the hill to return fire? Surely it would have been safer to return fire from like laying on the top of the hill. You got shot. Like you're gonna say weird things, most likely. You're in a war. You. Say what you want. <laughs> Take these to battalion. Back in gear. Come on, battalion CP. Sir. Is that a little That's smile we saw? Yeah. What's that? Use the key. Keep moving and lead the way. Dick. Easy's in good hands. Yeah, but he can't help himself. He's been leading them this whole time. I could say the same to you. Yeah. Good luck, Miss. Yeah. He's like their father, and their easy company is like his little babies, and he doesn't want to let them go. And it's sad, but... He's got to be like itching to be there with them. God bless you, my lad. Victory and cry! Cry! Oh, it's all proud dad smile. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be enjoying his leave. It's because it gives him too much time to think instead of being too busy working. Coming back from the front line. I was just about to say that, take their ammo, but I thought that might be a little bit insensitive, but. He is really taking me out of this. Tigers, <laughs> Panthers. Easy Company moved into the woods near Boston without any artillery or escort. 
it was short of food, ammunition and lacked winter clothing. Okay, so that was season one, episode five of Band of Brothers. Now, honestly, I do have to say this has been my favourite episode so far. Like, storytelling wise, I liked that it literally was storytelling, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, from Captain Winter's point of view, when he was writing out the inventory and uh, we were going back and forth with his memory, and it was nice to see something into his psyche as well you know when he was on the train and he was looking at people and he was having flashbacks because I don't know he seems to me my opinion <laughs> just my opinion um that he uses what he does in easy company as a distraction to keep his mind focused on the war but then when he's not there he's getting all these flashbacks and it's not sitting well with him so a uh, full length on early access is available on patreon.com forward slash Sarah X and I'll see you next time.